welcome to the Bunbury Farmers Market. We're going through a bit of a transition with our old kitchen into our new kitchen, ready for a new venue, and of course our new chef Ingo. All right, well, uh, <laughs> you know, we're trying to go Mate, through this transition. We are, uh, which is fantastic. We're getting very excited because it and won't what be are long. We're doing today. Today we are doing asparagus. No, really, our West Australian asparagus, which is a perfect season for them at the minute. They are fresh, they are green, they are sweet, and they're perfect for breakfast. Absolutely. And why are we not breaking them? Why are we just trimming off the last little bit? <laughs> because these are really good new seasons asparagus. They're not woody as such. Sometimes you get them and they're quite dry on the ends with a bit of brown. These are perfect. So you only need to take about half a centimetre off if you're lucky. So I will do that. And what are you going to be doing? Well, I start uh, poaching the eggs mm. and uh, all we need is uh, water. water. A uh, little bit of salt and uh, vinegar. And so why do you put the vinegar in the water? You don't know that? Well, I know that, but uh, some people out there may not know uh, that. Well, <laughs> you know, um, the vinegar will help the egg staying together. Okay, so are you one of these chefs that swirl the water as well so they all come back on each other? A lot of people say too to do them in glad wrap. Well, yeah, it can be done also, absolutely. But actually, the vinegar does the trick Tricks, yep. and will hold the egg together. Beautiful. So that you get this beautiful round shape. And of course, we're using our free range eggs here. Absolutely. Absolutely, our Katie Joys, which are just gorgeous. Yep, and we just. Uh, get some bubbles happening in our little saucepan. But yep. getting back to the asparagus, do you peel your asparagus? Uh, not the green one. Not the green one? No, because. And especially not if it's as fresh as this. as it is now. If you're unlucky, you get uh, bad quality, which is never in the Bunbury Farmers Market. Never in the Bunbury Farmers Market. Um, then obviously you will have to peel a little bit, but here we don't. Okay, beautiful. But geez, they look good. And of course we're using our spinach, little baby spinach leaves as well, and our Turkish bread from the local kebab shop here in Bunbury, which is Absolutely. always lovely. So now the water starts bubbling a little bit yes, and yes. Uh, that's uh, what we need because also the bubbles will help to keep the egg together. Sure. Yeah, so. So. One cook. <laughs> yeah, well, well, it should have been a little bit hotter than that, but... Now we'll get some flame underneath it. But it's happening, it's happening. It is happening. So what else would you do with for asparagus in the morning for breakfast? If you don't do it with poached eggs, would you put them in an omelette or scrambled eggs or anything oh, like that? Oh yes, yes, absolutely. Um, um, pan fried like this oh. and uh, poached and uh, chopped up in the omelette, all beautiful. Yeah, it's lovely. Okay. We normally do them too on the barbecue when we have our barbie. Yes. Just throw them on the hot plate, get the fat off the steaks and stuff on your asparagus. It's lovely. Now, would you like me to chop these smaller or are you going to fit them in that frying pan? Uh, this cut in half, maybe? Sure. Oh, they snap. They're so fresh. They're a beautiful, beautiful product. And so you're just going to pan fry these in a bit of olive oil, salt and pepper? Absolutely. So all I need to do now, I just keep it on the side because it's already heated up. Okay. So and, the uh, heat in the saucepan will keep, keep cooking your eggs? while we do our asparagus. Absolutely. And here we go. A little bit of olive, olive oil. oil. And would you use butter as well or just good old olive oil? I stick to olive oil, but uh, you can use you butter. Can. There's absolutely no problem with sure. it. Sure. If you want to put a few onion and garlic, that's also absolutely fine. Yeah. When, no. you, well, when the asparagus is as fresh like this, I'd put um, onion and garlic with it. Because it's so lovely, I'd leave it as is. Mm. Yeah. Mate. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but they're gorgeous. I love it. Beautiful, beautiful. You can actually uh, chop up some of the tomatoes also. Yeah, and put in with it. Yeah. Nice. So we're getting the olive oil till it's smoking. So when they go in, it's a quick cook. You don't want to overcook these. You want to cook them like a bean. So it's quick, fast. So you still have your snap and it's still a little bit soft, but it's still got that beautiful freshness to it. That's what I reckon. How do you know all of that? I know, because I've got a good teacher. <laughs> so, off we go. Straight in, beautiful. 
Lovely. So why you, you know why sometimes people separate the back and the front? This cooks slightly faster than this. The base. So that's why that's another reason why you might want to you know separate it, but you definitely don't want to throw it. No, and I don't know whether you can see it's just starting to change colour now. You get that iridescent yeah, it's like a real, yeah, shiny green come out of them. They're beautiful. So you just change the colour. Now, should I get the Turkish bread out of the oven for you? Uh, no. You can, you'll do all that. We've got a nice plate here, which we'll plate up. So our Turkish bread we just put in the oven for a couple of minutes just to warm through, and it gets that nice crispiness to it. So that's our gorgeous Turkish bread. And then our lovely fresh spinach. I, Ingo probably won't, but I always snap the little hard stalks off, especially for breakfast, because it's just that little bit softer on your palate when you eat it. So you just pile that into your, onto your plate. So this is a great Sunday breakfast. I've had it for tea when you really can't be bothered cooking. So it's healthy, it's yummy. Look at that, see the asparagus is just about done. Yep, oh. you see the yep. uh, colours coming up. It started to caramelise, it looks fantastic. Would you like some tongs? You can read my mind. I can, I'm talented. Alright, oh, we've been working five years together already. <laughs> and a beautiful asparagus. Um, sometimes too, I'm a bit naughty and put some of our gorgeous caramelised balsamic on it as well. I'm a bit of a sweet tooth, so to me that little bit of sweetness brings out the sweetness too in your asparagus. But you don't really need it, but it is lovely. Oh. They're that fresh, they're running they're off the plate. They're still alive. They no, are. They're, they're, they're moving. Look at that. And the smell of them are beautiful. Alright, what if we get our and a, eggs back in here? And our gorgeous soft poached eggs. We're not using any sauce on this today because your eggs, um, the yolks themselves will be the actual sauce with it. And then we put our beautiful pecorino cheese on top just for that nice sharp flavour. Flavour? Flavour. Oh, the flavour. The flavour has got to be there. All right. No. <laughs> and so we'll see how good of a chef chef is with these soft poached eggs. Mmm. Well, they have a flavour. They have a flavour the, all to themselves. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, they're, still they're still wobbly. Yeah. And so just grab your vegetable peeler and just put some, some shavings of that stunning pecorino cheese on it. It's not as sharp. I don't find it as sharp as parmesan. I don't know whether that's the right word to use no, or not, but it's more, correct. it's more creamier or something. It's just gorgeous. A little bit of cracked black pepper on top. Yep. Beautiful. And then we'll just puncture those egg yolks just a little bit and so it all runs through and then we can have a taste. Would you mm. like to try? Uh, oh. A little bit of oil on them. Oh. Yum. Would you like to try my love? Mm. You can have that big knock because it's a big bit of Turkish bread. But honestly, it is gorgeous and it's the season to come and grab our beautiful, beautiful asparagus. And it is just lovely. So please come down and see us at the Bunbury Farmers Market. We're here seven days a week for extreme value and extreme freshness. Nice? Perfect. See? Excellent.